Right, okay, today's video is all about looking back to the future. Yeah, we're gonna be talking about 2020 driver releases. It's always the big one on the agenda. In maybe 10 to 14 days, you're gonna see a whole host of videos from people like me, analyzing, reviewing, giving you data on the new drivers that are coming from all the major manufacturers for 2020. But are they really gonna make enough of a difference to make you change? Will they make me change? And what do I think is going to need to happen for me to put one of these new drivers into my bag? Right, so the question is for you, what is it going to take you to buy one of these drivers in 2020? Are you in the market for a new driver? And if you are, what's going to make you make that change? Is it going to be distance? Is it going to be dispersion? Is it going to be the fact that you just like buying yourself a new toy every now and then and like to have the latest gadget in your bag? That's the question you've got to ask yourself before you part with the best part of 450 quid, I reckon. Now, at the start of every new year, there are new product releases and uh, every year I'll do the same thing. I'll test the drivers, I'll look at numbers, I'll look at dispersion and Trackman will tell me what improvements have been made by the manufacturers. Are the claims being backed up in terms of numbers? And I've got to be honest, have I seen major differences in the last few years? Probably not. But there's one driver for me that has stood out an absolute mile in terms of being a game changer for me on a personal level. And I still think it's the driver that every manufacturer's got to beat in 2020. Right, so before I reveal what I consider the driver to beat in 2020, I want your feedback, your comments down below. I got into a situation with this particular driver that I'm gonna to refer to by where it just seemed to be a marriage made in heaven, if you like, and straight away, the driver shaft combination really did work for me. And in all the testing I've done, I've still not managed to find anything that really suggests I should have changed to anything different. Now, for the record, at the moment, I'm playing a tailor-made mini driver, but, that's not in this equation, I'm not referring to that product. I chose that product because of control, because of the shorter shaft length, and that's why I went to it. But in terms of driver, I played this particular driver for a, a year or two. It was never ever gonna come out of the bag other than the fact of, like I said, that element of control from the mini driver. But if I'm gonna stick another driver in my hand with a 45 inch shaft in it, then someone's gonna have to come up with something pretty special in 2020. And what I want to know is what's in your bag right now? What are you playing and will you be looking to change at all? And if you are going to change, what is it that's going to make you get that club out the bag and spend £450 plus to get a change in driver? Now, I think I've said enough and I'm going to reveal the driver. And for those of you who have watched the channel for quite some time, you'll have seen this in my bag. You'll have seen that this reveal, you'll know what the reveal is. And it's the Ping G400 Max. Now for me, the Ping G400 Max, like I said, came along at a time when driver was always kind of a, an Achilles heel for me. It was always something where I struggled in terms of control being a big deal, dispersion being a big deal, and consistency being a big deal. And I suppose still to this day, they're the struggles that every average golfer is gonna have. But what the G400 Max did in terms of MOI, in terms of forgiveness, it moved the bar in, uh, to a whole new level. Now, I'm not disputing the fact that maybe some of the latest drivers that have came out since this have, have, have caught up and they've, they've all upped their game in terms of MOI, but not to a level ever surpassed the G400 Max. And I think that's the big deal for me, is what is going to happen in 2020 where they're going to be able to move the bar forward again to... Distance, I think, has gone as far as we can go. Yes, they might be able to improve a bit of club head speed with one thing or another, which I think they're perhaps looking at. And MOI is a massive deal and the biggest deal for me when choosing a driver. But this now must be 18 months old, maybe a little bit more. Ironically, it is still for sale at a pretty hefty price as well. It still can buy this driver for around the sort of £300 mark. So I think that just goes to show that it has very much stood the test of time in terms of the quality of product that it is. But I don't know whether it's a case of, I tried the G410 last year and whether or not the G410 was, I was a little harsh in it, I think, looking back, but I think it's because I just didn't find it that much different than the G400 Max. And I was so overwhelmed, I suppose, with, the, with how good this product performed. 
that the G410 did nothing additional for me in that sense. So uh, I was maybe a little bit harsh on that at the time. The kind of things that they will struggle with. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit some balls and get some data and have a quick look through it because I want a barometer for what I'm about to do in the next week or so. In the box down below there, I don't know if you can see it, that's some 2020 product there and I'll be testing those drivers later on today. And I want something to measure up against and seeing is it that much better than what I've got in my hand right now, the G400 Max. So I will be hitting this. One of the things that I think can be improved and we spoke about it before and I will hit a, I'm gonna hit a ball because I don't like talking for too long. Let's see if we can get a ball out there. It's a solid ball, you know, I mean, like I said, when I, when, I, when I got it back out to do this video, I thought, why did I drop it out the bag and go for the mini driver? And like I said, there, that's a different story altogether. But it's a really solid performer. The one issue I had with it, and I still had with the G410 range, all told, is the, the sound. Not a big deal for a lot of golfers, I know, but for me, it's the only negative that I would put onto this. I would prefer a smoother, smoother looking crown, but again, these are very much minor, minor details. And when you strip them away and look at performance, then I think it'll be hard pushed for anyone still to beat this driver in 2020. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna carry on it in balls and I'm gonna go for some data and we'll have a quick look at it. But the important part of this question is what is it gonna take? What have you got in the bag right now in terms of driver? What are you thinking is gonna happen in 2020? And how many of you are looking to change and what's gonna make you make that investment and, uh, and jump in for a new driver? Right, well, I'm pretty interested in this data, to be honest with you, and it'll be a good barometer moving forward because the big deal that we've got to consider, isn't it, is how much is, man is technology moving forward and how many increases or more increases can we make in terms of driver technology? And it's always the one where I think is the biggest issue is how do you make these drivers better? This product now is two years old. I think it was pretty much February. Uh, that would have been 2018. Um, so, yeah, it's, uh, it's by no means new. It's not that old either. But let's look at this data. Um, swinging relatively, I've, I've only been here half an hour, a bit of a warm-up. So it's slower swing speeds uh, in terms of club head speed between 95 and 97 at that top end. Um, great consistency in terms of ball speed though I've got to say that and this is where this product always performed really well across the club face don't forget is what I would be thinking 2.5 spin almost perfect spin number 2.38 carry 2 in and out 2.40 and the 1.234 just drops it out a little bit so in and around that 2.40 carry is bang on for me 12.9 in terms of launch angle I mean and peak height 86 and they give you the sort of run out distances in and around the sort of 260 to 270 mark uh, with that kind of spin number. Uh, but, I mean, the point is this. If I can hit a driver... In fact, the point is this, actually. Let's have a look at uh, dispersion, first of all, see where those shots actually went. Um, and again, the grouping, really, really good indeed. Slightly off target in terms of the, the right-hand side, just slightly off-centre. But, I mean, for me, if I can hit a grouping like that and into fairways, and that's exactly what I want it to do. The point I'm making is this. This driver carries in around the 240 mark, running out to a suggested 260 to 270 with that spin number. The grouping is very, very good. The ball speeds seem to be consistent across the club face because there's no way I'll have hit all those shots out of the middle. So it launches at a good launch angle, it spins at a good number, it carries at a good number. What else is there that I want it to do? And that's the question when you're buying yourself or considering any new product and I have no interest how people spend the money. If you want to buy it for enjoyment's sake, then by all means, uh, go out and do, that, do exactly that. But in terms of numbers, make sure that you have a good look at what it is that you're comparing to, and that you're seeing very much a like-for-like -like situation when you're making your comparisons. Because for me, there's going to have to be some big leaps forward for me to consider. Like I said earlier, if I'm going to stick a 45-inch shaft back in my hands in terms of a driver, then this G400 Max takes some beating in my mind. Uh, but anyway, like I said, that's my situation. Maybe that head combination is one that I just got lucky with and I'll always struggle to beat, I don't know. But for you, again, the question is, what are you gonna change? Why would you change? And have you got, what's your current setup? Have you got pretty much that uh, perfect setup that you'd never think of changing your driver? And it's the, uh, the one club that's staying in the bag. Right, that's me done. As ever, I hope keep on enjoying your Christmas because this should have gone out a couple of days just after. And uh, if I don't see you before, Happy New Year. And uh, we will be speaking very soon because like I said, there's an absolute ruck of videos on the way.